Hey y'all, and welcome back to Twilight Princess. So it starts me back at the beginning of the dungeon, obviously, because I got close to the boss. Got the boss key, but I didn't get to the boss. Uh, you know what, I got the spinner. Is there any reason I can't use it? Well, I guess the answer is yes. There is some reason I can't use it, I don't know why, what that reason is. Uh, well, there we go. That's that's the use of the spinner. Um, so now this. I remember this being kind of a cool boss battle. We'll see if it holds up to my memory. There's something I like about the, the sound of the spinner on these tracks and the speed that you get moving around. I've always loved any game where you're... You're going fast. I was a big fan of racing games. For one. And, uh... It's just one thing I really like about the spinner. And why I wish that it was better... Implemented. More useful, I should say. Because, like, after this dungeon, I don't, I don't think you ever really use the spinner except... You know, to turn switches like that. <laughs> Maybe there are like one or two tracks in the overworld that will let you get, um, they'll let you get a heart piece or something. But look at that, look at how short it lasts on, on the ground, I don't know. To be fair, if the spinner kept going at the same speed, it would make, it would make your horse obsolete, so they can't do that. But I don't know, I, I wish it was like, I wish it was better outside of a very specific context where you can use it effectively. But anyway, here's a boss that continues the trend started by the last one, Morpheal, of having two very distinct stages. Because I guess that's one reason why... Oh! I forgot Zant is here. Why is Zant here? You still live. How astonishing. No wonder some... Oh, this is truly a bittersweet reunion. Truly. Hey, you're not waiting for me to press the A button. For I fear this is the last time I will see you alive. What the heck? It wasn't, uh... It, it didn't wait for me to push A. Oh well. I guess the game is sick of my commentary. Sick of my di line reading. That's a pretty cool sword. But I was saying, I, uh, I was thinking about it, and I realized the uh, Death Mountain boss only has one stage. And at least, even the Forest Temple boss, it kind of has two stages. But I think that's one reason that the Fire, you know, the Fire Temple, or Death Mountain boss is just not as interesting. And this one's a little more interesting, at least once you get past this part. I have to remember how to do this, though. Oh my god, more more Wind Waker music. Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize that it put me on the track. I know at some point, um, spinners come along. There's one. Oh, that's right. And we need to, uh, maneuver maneuver around the shadow soldiers, or maybe there's a way to break through them, I forget. But anyway, this is pretty neat. I like this. Um, it's not that difficult, though. Um, oop. This is kind of, you know, the nature of 3D Zeldas are that they're a game of patience, in the same way that Monster Hunter is a game about danger. There we go. Just barely got him. But maybe the early 2D Zeldas were not games about patience, but these 3D ones ever since Ocarina, I feel like these are games about patience. Like, you gotta wait for the right moment to, to strike and go in there. And as long as you wait, it's you're not in all that much danger. It was breathing, it was breathing like this nasty, toxic breath all over the place, but... Uh, it was so far behind me that I was not going to get hit by it unless I really screwed up and 
lost a lot of speed or, or tried bouncing around the soldiers too much, maybe. But yes, it's not dead yet. It might be just ahead. Ouchers. Now this part, this is the part that, that I like. There's, there's something really neat about this. Even with the goofy Wind Waker music. And I love Wind Waker and I love its music, but it just is not suited to the tone of Twilight Princess. Why is the music like this, man? Oh, I lost a lot of height there. Gotcha. Up, up, up. This part is good. You can do a lot of damage with this tactic. Oh. That's why I started streaming it, is because I was reminded of it from uh, I think it was a GDQ a GDQ speed run. Not that I'm speedrunning it, but it just reminded me of it. It was like, oh yeah, I could stream this. Gotcha. I've noticed in the recordings you can sometimes hear the Wii Remote speaker. So I wonder if you could hear any of that. Yeah, this is definitely the same boss victory music from Wind Waker. Maybe with some different sound samples. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I was a little ahead. Okay. That... See, I think that boss battle's cool, but it's so short. Maybe it takes longer if you don't know what you're doing. 